I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on Factor Theorem. Now these challenge questions can be in your test paper as thinking or bonus questions. The question here is factor fully px cube plus p minus q x square plus minus 2p minus q times x plus 2q. Now how will you factor this? Well, let us apply the factor theorem. To factor this expression, we can try the numbers like plus minus 1, plus minus 2, which are the factors of 2q, right? So let us write down the polynomial first. Let us say that the polynomial function f of x is given to us as px cube plus p minus q x square plus minus 2p minus q x plus 2p right 2q right now in this function let's try with what is the value of the function at 1 if i substitute 1 here for x i get p plus if i substitute 1 1 squared is 1 so i get p minus q for 1 and x we get minus 2p minus q and here we get plus 2 Q. Now adding these terms which are p's, 1p, 2p, minus 2p, we get 0. As far as q is concerned, minus q, minus q, and plus 2q, we do get 0. So we know x minus 1 is a factor, right? So x minus 1 is a factor of this. Let us divide this expression by x minus 1 and then find the other factors. So what we have here is px cube plus p minus q x square plus minus 2p minus q times x plus 2q, right? So we'll divide this by the factor x minus 1 since f of 1 is 0. So if I divide by x minus 1, we get here px square. Multiplying by px square, we get px cube minus px square. So when we take away, we get minus and plus it becomes 2px square. So we get 2p minus q x square bring down the next term which is minus 2p minus qx now we need to multiply the term by 2p minus q right 2p minus q times x to get x square so we get 2p minus q times x square minus 2p minus q times x. So when you take away, you get this is minus, minus 2p minus 2p is 0, and minus q, minus and minus becomes plus, so it gives you minus 2q, right? So we get minus 2q x plus 2q. We can now multiply this by minus 2q. So minus 2q gives us minus 2qx minus and minus becomes plus 2q and the remainder is 0. So we could write this function as x minus 1 times all this, right? So we could write f of x as equals to x minus 1 times px square. Let me put this in brackets plus 2p minus q x minus 2q, right? So that is how we could write. Let me draw a line here. Okay, now let us investigate for further factors of the inside term. So let's try f of 2. So if I write f of 2 in this, then what do we get? We get 2 square as 4, we get 4p. And if I write 2 here, we get plus 4p minus 2q 
minus 2q well that is not equal to 0 let me try f of minus 2 if I try f of minus 2 I will get minus 2 square is 4 so it is 4p minus 2 times uh, minus 2p becomes minus 4p minus 2 times minus q is plus 2q and minus 2q that is equals to 0 that means x minus minus 2 is a factor right so now we can divide this term by x plus 2 so let us further divide by x plus 2 and investigate so what we have now is the polynomial which is px square plus 2p minus q x minus 2q and we are going to divide this by x plus 2 so now it goes p times x p times x so we get px square plus 2px if you take away you get minus qx minus 2q now here to get qx we have to multiply by minus q so if I multiply by minus q I get minus qx minus 2q and that is indeed 0 so we can now further factor this polynomial and write our result as f of x equals to x minus 1 times x plus 2 times px minus q right so that becomes our answer for the given expression right so the solution here is f of x equals to x minus 1 times x plus 2 times px minus q so that is how we can fully factor the given expression i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best